The film you are about to see represents Freaking.com. Oh, I do have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, why does Manadnock need a coordinating council for transportation? Well, it's for community transportation, so for people that are without access to transportation. Um, and there are nine of these all over the state, so we're not the only one. Um, and it feeds into a state coordinating council at, uh, the, uh, that was appointed by governor and council back a few years ago. Um, How much does the council cost taxpayers per year? Uh, well, that's a great question. The funding, really the council has no budget. Um, we get uh, some of our grant funding for various organizations uh, through the Department of Transportation. And they come, it funnels through the Regional Coordinating Council. So the council itself probably costs nothing. Are you on the council yourself? Yes, I'm the chair. Um, have you done, can you name something you've done in the last year from your? Can you can you name something you've done in the last year from your position of power to reduce taxpayer expenditures? Well, if you look at um, people that don't have access to transportation, I mean, the average cost of owning a car right now is around nine thousand dollars. Between insurance, between um, you know, mechanical attention, gas. Um, so when you're strapped for funding, like many uh, senior citizens and people with disabilities, this is um, a huge um, support so that they can put their funding toward their own funds toward other things. I was a little unclear. Did you say you do or don't have an operating budget? The, the council itself does not have okay. an operating budget. Do you control government money? I'm sorry? Do you control government money? We uh, are recipients of government money. Uh, federal Transit Administration funds come down. Like, I'm the executive director for the Community Volunteer Transportation Company. Okay. And our volunteer drivers are uh, reimbursed for the mileage that they put in at 41 cents a mile. And that funding comes through the federal government. Okay, I appreciate your transparency. I don't get that from everyone yeah. in government. What was your name? Ellen. Oh, okay, Xavier, thank you. And you're with Are you on the council? Uh, I'm not. I provide oh. staff support. Oh, so who, could I ask who, who you're with? Yeah, I'm with Southwest Regional Planning Commission. Oh, okay. A uh, question for you. Why does New Hampshire need a Southwest Regional Planning Commission? Why does it need a Southwest Regional Planning Commission? We, we provide um, support to communities in the Southwest region um, on issues like transportation, land use planning, um, a variety of other topics. But I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm about to start a meeting right now, so I need to get prepped with that. Gonna, All right, fair enough. That, yeah. Are you going to come in? Yes, yes. And you are? It's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com, kind of like a poor man's Ridley TV Report. station. That's oh. correct. Okay, are you out of Keene? Uh, no, Winchester. Oh, Winchester. Yeah. How'd you hear about... I keep a list of government calendars. Oh. Yeah. Oh, great. So I go to meetings that the reporters don't, you know, the mainstream reporters. Okay. Yeah, come okay. on in. Okay, thanks so much. We're talking about youth transportation, which is something that... It's a new area, but, you know, there's not much conversation about right. it, so... Okay, um, great. That's the top, a big portion of today's meeting. All right, I appreciate your answers. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic Liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.